Well hello everyone. It feels like it has been a million years since I made a video, but actually it's been, what, one day over a week, so it's been like eight days since I posted a video. And that of course is because of Hurricane Irene. Um, if you live in another country or something and you don't know the whole east coast of the United States was hit by a hurricane named Irene and some areas were hit harder than others. Up here in the northeast part of the country where I live in Massachusetts, there are still 200,000 people without power as of this moment. I, thank God, got mine back yesterday, my electricity, and um, I've been trying to play catch up ever since. We had to throw away all the food in our refrigerator because, it, of course, it had gone bad. We didn't have power for five days. And so um, last night my husband and I went food shopping and, you know, got restocked and everything. But let me back up. When the storm first hit, um, we did not stay here in our home because we, the house that we live in is not hurricane proof. It's, um, it doesn't have a basement, it's like built on a cement slab and then we have like a crawl space. So with these types of homes, it's not really safe to stay here during hurricane force winds. A lot of our neighbors did and the houses ended up being fine in the end, but we didn't want to risk it. So we found a pet friendly hotel and we took Thomas to uh, a hotel for the weekend. It was the first time he had ever been to a hotel. He really, you know, doesn't go anywhere. He's a cat. Um, so he wasn't too happy about that, but he did pretty well, though. You know, he came out, and I, of course I brought his litter box and everything. And um, he came out, went to the bathroom, and got a drink of water. But most of the time he spent hidden under the bed skirt of the bed, just kind of being scared. I felt bad for him, but, you know, we had no choice. Of course, we're not going to leave him here by himself to get blown away in the storm. But he's fine now. He's happy to be home. And, um, yeah, with these types of houses that we have here, they're not like uh, regular houses. Um, they're manufactured homes, but they're not trailers there is definitely a difference <laughs> um, a lot of people get confused on the terminology but a trailer is like something on wheels and my house is a manufactured home so we do have uh, a foundation that the house is sitting on and it's like a real house if you were to look at it um, it looks just like a regular house you know except for the only difference is they're built a lot cheaper and they don't really last up in a storm or anything like that so anyways um yeah we stayed at a hotel for the weekend while the storm was in progress we came back monday well actually my husband went right to work from the hotel on monday morning because he had work and uh, i came home and there was no power but fortunately, no damage had been done to the house or the yard or um, nothing happened to our cars at the hotel when they were parked there or anything like that. But I just figured that the power would come back on soon. Little did I know that it was not going to come back on till yesterday, which was Thursday. So let me tell you, it was like camping indoors. Um, no hot water, no lights, no cooking no food you know we had to throw everything out so it was it was pretty awful um you know trying to get cleaned up with cold water and uh, just i hope this doesn't happen again for a long long time it was terrible and then like trying to drive around you would go down a street and you'd see a tree down and power lines and you'd have to turn around and go back and take a different street and it seemed like sometimes no matter where you go you were like blocked in by all these downed trees and everything so um, that was just awful trying to get from place to place fortunately for us the next town over never lost their power 
and the damage that was done seemed to have been minimal for some reason. I don't know why that town lucked out the way it did. But what we did was, because we couldn't cook and we couldn't keep food in the refrigerator, we just went out to eat every night and went over, you know, to the next town over. So we were really lucky that we were able to do that because, let me tell you, it gets pretty, uh, pretty boring having peanut butter sandwiches every day. <laughs> Because, you know, if you can't cook, you're so limited to what you can eat. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was that was awful. And if you uh, went through that storm, then you know what I'm talking about. It was pretty scary. The, the winds got pretty intense. And uh, when we were staying at the hotel, the lights were flickering a little bit, but the power never went off at the hotel, thank God. Um, it's funny because... There, I would say 90% of the homes and businesses lost power during the hurricane. And the fact that we just happened to choose this hotel to stay at, well, it was mostly because of Thomas. We stayed there because there aren't that many hotels where you can bring your pets. But thank goodness, you know, we just happened to choose one that did not lose its power because most of them did. But anyways... Uh, so, hello to all my new subscribers. That was one of the cool things is when I came back and I did get my power back yesterday and I was looking at my mail, that's when you really notice like how many subscribers you get, you're getting because when you look at it just one day at a time, it doesn't really seem like that much, but when you see a whole week's worth of mail sitting there, and it's like, oh, I have 30 new subscribers, yay! So, welcome 30 new subscribers. I don't normally do vlogs like this. This is an exception. I just figured people might be curious about where the heck I have been for the last week, because I usually make, I try to make five videos a week. I don't always succeed, but I try. So for me to go a whole week with no videos is rather unusual. However, I do have some things to show you, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> Before the storm hit, um, I had gone to a grocery store and I just happened to walk like down through the makeup area. Now I normally don't buy makeup or anything at grocery stores. But what caught my eye was that they had a Wet n Wild display. And I don't normally see Wet n Wild at grocery stores. So I remembered that there was this nail polish that I had been on the lookout for but hadn't found yet because it was always sold out. Well, they had one bottle left, so I snagged it. And it's called Private Viewing. And it's, um, it's just a nude, but I have... It's funny because, you know, a few years ago I wouldn't have touched a nude nail polish with a 10-foot pole. But now, I don't know. I kind of I kinda like them now. And all nudes are not created equal. Um, I immediately, you know, came home and started matching it up to all my other nude nail polishes. And the, the color or shade or tone or something about this is a little different. So... That is private viewing, so I was happy to have finally found that. And then um, I'm actually wearing something that's new, but you wouldn't be able to tell because I got contact lenses. Now, I had had contact lenses a long time ago, but um, I've been out of the loop with that for a long time, so I'm very happy to have these. But because I hadn't worn them in so long, um, I decided that I had to, of course, get new sunglasses for my contacts because my sunglasses that I had before um, were so outdated because I had been pretty much wearing my regular prescription glasses all the time. And they were um, transitions lenses that, you know, turn dark when you go outside. So I had no use for sunglasses, so mine were really old anyway. So I got some new ones, and I got them at, uh, I had a wicked high time trying to decide where I was going to get the new sunglasses from, and I did a lot of looking around, and I saw some that were okay, but I really didn't want to get a pair that was just okay. I wanted to get a pair that I was going to really love, uh, because I figured, you know, I'm going to be wearing these a lot and getting a lot of use out of them. So I found a pair at Target, of all places, that I really liked. 
and the brand name on these is Exhilaration, which is their Junior line. And I'll show you what they look like. There's a few different things about these sunglasses that are different and unusual that I really picked up on. One is that you have a solid color on the bottom here, and then you have a print going across the top. So I thought that was unique. And also, the part of the lenses that are actually shaded is like the top three quarters. So if you're driving in your car and you look down, like say at the radio or something, whatever, um, because the bottom part is not shaded, you'll be able to see things in your car clearly. And I thought that was a really nice feature to have for when you're driving. And um, I like the shape, I love the colors, I like the, the pattern on the top, and I like the price. <laughs> um, off the top of my head, I don't really remember how much they are were. I think they were around $15, $16. Um, I'll check when I finish making this video, and if I'm wrong, I'll put an annotation that has the correct price, but I'm pretty sure they were $15, $16, but they, it, it must be like an older model or something, because it was the last pair that they had on the shelves, so they must have come out a long time ago, but I really, really love these, and I'm happy that I waited until I found a pair that I really, really loved. I had to kind of cram them into an old eyeglass case though because um, they don't come with cases or anything at Target and they didn't have any to buy but what I need to find now is a really large eyeglass case to put these in because they're kind of kind of stuffed into the other one that I have that I'm using and another thing that I needed if I was going to wear contacts is um, my eyesight when I wear prescription glasses is um, bifocal so when I have my contacts in I can't see close up so if I was to go to a restaurant or something I wouldn't be able to read the menu so the eye doctor um, when she examined my eyes she suggested that I just pick up a cheap pair of reading glasses like at you know a department store or something so again at Target I found these really cool reading glasses they are purple with black dots on them on the sides and then well I'll put them on for you they're purple with black dots on the side and then that wraps around a little bit on the corner but then they're like a solid color in between and um, she she seemed to know you know which ones I was gonna need but just for the heck of it I tried on some indifferent strengths to make sure that this was the right number because they have like plus two plus three plus two point five and all different ones so they they were the ones that she told me to get they were right and uh, I just thought these were kind of funky and cool and so now I have to keep the reading glasses and the sunglasses in my purse just in case you know I need them and then for new prescription glasses, I just finally got a chance to go yesterday because I didn't see any glasses at the doctor's office that I really like. So I went over to Lens Crafters and ordered my new prescription glasses, which I'll show you when they come in. Absolutely love, love, love them. And um, very, very expensive though, but... Uh, I wear my glasses all the time, so when, you know, when I'm not recording videos, so I think it's important to really love your glasses if you wear them a lot, because, you know, you may not even end up getting a new pair every year, so it's important to love them, and the ones that I had been wearing, I really did love, and used to get a lot of compliments on them, but I got something a little bit different this time in a different brand, and I'll show those to you when they come in. She said they would take like between one and two weeks. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you those when they come in. So I haven't really had um, a chance to do much shopping over the last week other than the things I just showed you because it's really crazy when you don't have electricity. You know, you feel like your whole life is just on hold because you can't do any of the things that you would normally do. Um, fortunately for me, 
my mom lives in the next town over that does have electricity, so I was able to uh, bring laundry over there and still be able to do laundry, but at home, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't do anything. It was awful. But, um, so yeah, I guess the only thing left to do then is to show you what I have on for products today. My shirt is um, Faded Glory from Walmart. My watch is Style & Company from Macy's. This bracelet, I was thinking about this when I put it on. I think it's from Kohl's, but I'm not really positive because it's so old, which means, you know, it wouldn't still be available. This ring is from... Uh, it's either from Big Lots or Family Dollar. I went to both those stores on the same day, so I don't really remember which store I found it at, but um, it was just, you know, very inexpensive with the stretchy band thing on the back. And, let's see, my nail polish is L'Oreal Drama Queen, and I had found this uh, about maybe a month ago at the Christmas tree shop for $1.69. So, they, they might have it still, they might not, I don't know, um, but that's what this is. And then for makeup today, I finished my Makeup Forever HD foundation. So, um, if you're new to my channel, I have a ton of foundations, and I'm actually trying to just use them up because, um, you know, they go bad if you don't use them. So, I hate throwing things away or having things spoiled. So I'm trying to just go through my foundations and actually, you know, just use them up. So the Makeup Forever HD is gone, which I feel kind of bad about because I really did love that foundation. But now I've moved on to my Revlon Photo Ready. And I do like this a lot too. I put a primer underneath it. I used uh, L'Oreal Studios Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. Because um, I was watching a video by, who was it? Purse Buzz. And she was talking about like the importance of using a primer under your foundation. And I hadn't been using one lately. And I was like, well, you know, she's, she's kind of right. It really does make your foundation look better. Um, well, at least in the case of most foundations. Some foundations, I've noticed, don't really... Um, look right with the primer under them. I think, it, you know, it obviously has to do with the formula or something because the Makeup Forever HD, for me, worked better without a primer. But I didn't even try the Photo Ready without one. I just automatically put this on today um, together and used it. And loving the Photo Ready. Haven't used it in a long time before today. And I've got underneath my eyes for my dark circles, I've got my Essence Forget It Concealer Palette, the, whoa, the cover just came off, <laughs> the, uh, the peach one as a corrector, and I have on Ico Cream as a highlight, and I have on Too True Cheek and Lip Tint in blush, I think it's blush pink. Um, yeah, blush pink. And these two products I got, um, the Ico cream I got from their website because this is a UK company, but you can order from them online. They also sell Ico products on cherryculture.com. I have not used cherryculture.com personally, but I know a lot of you have ordered from them and seem to like it okay. The two true, though, um, you can't really get anywhere unless you live in um, the UK or Ireland because they sell this, I think, at Superdrug. And let's see, what else have we got? I have on my MAC Fresco Rose Paint Pot as an eyeshadow base. And that was limited edition, but they released this one a lot in collections. I can think of two collections that came out with just in the last two years. So, um, it's a good one though. If, you know, if it gets released again in another collection anytime soon, I would pick it up. And then I have on, um, Trax, which is by MAC, this one right here, on my eyelids, blend it up a little bit into the crease. And then I took some MAC Shale, which is like a purple color, and then I blended that sort of on top of 
the tracks in the crease area and I have on, let's see, my highlight is just um, shroom. And for eyeliner, I have on number seven, and that's from Boots. And this was also from a swap. And this is from, uh, you know, the Boots drugstores in the UK and Ireland. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Boots number seven eyeliner in blue-gray. My mascara is MAC Zoom Lash, which I, I have been wanting to try this for a long time and was not able to get it for a lot of different reasons, but I'm, gl I'm really glad that I got that. I really like that mascara. It's the only MAC mascara I've ever tried that I have liked. I filled in my brows with Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer in Blonde. And on my lips is a Milani Lip Flash Pencil. And in a flash is the color. And this is just kind of like a fuchsia color. I really like these Milani Lip Pencils because they're, they're like a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss all in one. They're just so easy. The only criticism that I have of them is the colors are all pretty wild and crazy bright uh, intense colors. I really would love to see them release these in some colors that are a little more mellow which you know fall and winter are right around the corner so a lot of these uh, that I have are pretty much great for summer but aren't really things that would be appropriate for fall except for the red ones. Red's going to be huge for fall as you all have heard me say so many times. So I think that's it. I feel like there was so many things I want to tell you guys. It's been such a long time. Um, but if there was anything important that I forgot, then I'll just let you know in my next video. Oh, I did remember one thing just now. Um, I'm going to need a new setup for my makeup because the table that I was using for like a, a vanity type thing one of the legs broke and I was just using an old table that I had had for a million years and I don't know what happened but I just I happened to notice that one of the legs was broken so I don't know if it was because Thomas was always jumping on it or what the problem was but I need to get a new table to use as a vanity I don't want a vanity because the vanities always have like the big mirror in the back and I don't want that um, because I I use a makeup mirror so to me that that mirror is kind of worthless so I just want to get like a vanity type table without a mirror on it and I've already started looking around and um, so when I do purchase something which hopefully will be soon um, I'm using like a TV tray right now to prop up my camera on because I I got rid of the old one so I don't have anything right now but when I get a new table and everything um, I'll show you the new setup and I'll tell you where I bought it how much it cost and all that type of thing in case you're in the market for something uh, like that so I'm very happy to be back and um, most likely will not be able to record any videos this weekend. I don't normally record videos on the weekend anyway, but I don't think I'm going to be able to because we need to get caught up on some things that we had kind of neglected because we didn't have electricity. So I will most likely see you Monday and things will be back to normal. Um, and that's it. I'll see you. Bye.